Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Resort at the GE Predix Transform 2016, the very first ever Predix Developer Conference. And lo and behold, but who do we see? Somebody we see at all the conferences that we go to, Gene Kim, the co-author of the Phoenix Project. I'm like, Gene is here, we got to get him on. Gene, great Jeff, to see you. great seeing you again. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're obviously a big famous for your DevOps books and DevOps point of view and, and kind of driving the DevOps world. What are you doing here? At, Predix. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here mostly learning. Uh, in fact, I'll be uh, talking later today, but I, I think anyone who sat through the opening session this morning, I, I probably had a sense of awe and amazement about the mobilization of developers solving the, the problems of the industrial internet. And, uh, you know, I think I uh, was sort of joking with someone before, but we often joke that in the IT operations world, there's a lot of ticketing being passed uh, you know, back and forth in order to do kind of uh, tactical things. but to hear the level of ticketing required to go from pulling the data from the jet engine you know, to the analytics platform to mobilizing, uh, scheduling work with the uh, carriers. I mean, that's just a, it's just a delight to uh, learn about. <laughs> well, really this kind of synergy of the IT and the OT coming together, you know, right. Dr. Tom Bradish talks about it at HP. Yes. Um, you know, these two worlds that have existed now really starting to come together what in a new, wrong? different way. Yeah, what <laughs> could go wrong? Hopefully nothing when you got, I don't even know how much a locomotive weighs, a lot, <laughs> or a jet engine in the air, but it's pretty interesting times. The other thing that, that is not really surprising, but interesting, uh, is how software-y this really is. I mean, everyone we've talked to today really comes from a softbound software background. They're from the Valley. They've worked in all kinds of, of VMware and EMC and Sybase and, yeah. and SAP. So they've really, G's really done a good job of bringing a true kind of software ethos into this group. Yeah, and in fact, uh, part of me is, when I say I'm, I'm learning a lot, I mean, it is really fascinating listening to the problems that need to be overcome when you're talking about, you know, you know uh, business processes that involve high heat, high pressure, corrosive chemicals, you know, uh, things that can crush, you know, entire limbs, uh, uh, you know, things with an operating life of decades. So, you know, uh, I think it's just amazing to see that so many of these tools and techniques that uh, we've built in the software space, in the classic software space, is now being used, you know, in the, the most capital intensive part of the business, which is really the industrial, um, things like you know oil refineries and airplane engines and so forth. It's just uh, it's a delight to see. Right, but they're still kind of taking a kind of a devs off approach in time. You know, start small. You know, don't yeah. go big. Find an easy win. Mm -hmm. You know, get it in. Get it. You know, get it quick. Get an easy win, and then expand. So it's not like I'm sure the unbelievable process to actually design and build and deliver a brand new jet engine for a new plane. Very I, different I, ball game. I, 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 to I, in fact, I heard exactly what you heard. I mean, the so same sort of. Uh, principles that we apply in the DevOps space, uh, really, you know, which really come from the lean community, are now being uh, applied across the entire value chain that spans manufacturing, operations, uh, maintenance, right, that can involve you know, scores of organizations. But it's the same thing, right? We don't want to open up tickets to uh, trigger manual work. Uh, we want all that visible. We want to be able to detect problems quickly so that we can prevent problems from happening. And if something does go wrong, we want to detect and correct for it quickly. I mean, those are all, I think, would make a lot of uh, sense to someone, whether we're dev or ops, but to see that applied in this uh, even bigger domain is, is quite exhilarating. I think. Right, right. And like you see all the time, the competition for developers, um, everybody wants developers. Every conference we go to has yeah. developer tracks, they're desperate for developers. They want to you know, wear t-shirts, not wear ties, and be cool. Yeah. But they got 1,700 people here, Gina, their very first yeah. event. Pretty amazing. Yeah, in fact, I think that confirms, I think, I think an intuition that many of us had, which is that, you know, that the value being created using kind of DevOps principles and practices, it's not going to be created in the unicorns, the Google, Amazon, Facebook, and so forth. It's really going to be created in organizations really represented here, right? It's the largest brands in every industry vertical, uh, you know, that are consuming the majority of uh, where the economic activity is actually occurring. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that, you know, the productivity that things like this will create, will elevate every dev and ops engineer so that they're going to be as productive as if they were at a Google, Amazon, or Netflix. Right, and so when right. we do that, I mean, we're talking about trillions of dollars of annual economic value. So it's an exciting place to be. So we're, sh we're short on time. I appreciate you, you taking time out of your busy day, but I gave us a little secret. Something's coming out. 
So I want you to give, oh. a, give a little plug for uh, for what people can no, be yeah. looking at at Amazon. I assume Amazon. Yeah, it's, and, uh, uh, people are making fun of me. Uh, so finally, after <laughs> almost six years of work, the DevOps Handbook is coming out. Uh, that book was actually supposed to come out before the Phoenix Project in 2013. Uh, you so don't have it to is, admit to that. Nobody knew that. Oh uh, no, everybody knows, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, it's finally coming out in October. So I, I'm so happy that uh, we're now. You know, weeks away from the book being out. The DevOps Handbook, that's the one to look for yes. in October. In October. In a bookstore near you. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, gee, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by. Glad we could kind of grab you out of the aisle there. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much, as always. <laughs> Absolutely. Gene Kim, I'm Jeff Frick. You are watching theCUBE from the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas at Predix Transform 2016.